hi guys it's a new month and this new month we're going to do a bit of shopping because we need to eat yes people are still eating in this house i don't know why but we need to do some grocery shopping because i have some exciting meals to make for this month's batch cooking which will come come up very soon but now let me show you the things that i bought let's go shopping together also an update on my garden yes today we do a major harvest so stay tuned for that if you like this kind of content you're all about making motherhood magical so hit the subscribe button and now let's go shopping I'm done shopping at the market we are done and we got more stuff but you guys need to know whether I'm going to keep on going to this market because I feel that the prices are <sighs> my kitty was slightly cheaper yes but uh, it's far so I just feel like the prices I pay here are sort of cater for the fuel at the village to go to my kitty so that's fine but my issue is not even so much the prices as the freshness of the stuff you guys i don't know you know my kitty has those things that are straight from the market i mean straight from the farm so it's fresh and vibrant and everything looks so good here by the time you find something that's looking nice you really have to sort through a lot of stuff so i'm just thinking next time next month i think we'll just go to the my kitty market just sacrifice that time wake up early and just dash to the market and then here i can't find everything but then i find some a guy selling leeks and he was selling a kilo of leeks at 200 shillings and my kitty it's a hundred not even that they're wilted and they're old oi, oi, oi. 
but at least I found a nice place to buy cereals. The price was the same, almost the same at Nyamakima. Of course, not exactly the same, but and then they had variety, which was nice. So that was good. <laughs> Let me get home and show you guys what we bought. So guys, behold my bountiful harvest from the market. Okay, of course I didn't harvest this from my mom, from my garden. <laughs> I'll show you my garden shortly. <laughs> hey, the laughing stock of all farmers. Anyway, uh, as I say, this market was a bit disappointing today. But we'll still make the best of everything that we got. Because people have to eat and yeah and people have to sell things at the market and make money so i think generally everything is just going higher in this our country the prices are just crazy everywhere even hey, i haven't even told you guys about meat first let's start with these cabbages these cabbages first of all they're so tiny and then today they're going for 30 shillings we got three could be better but it could also be worse they're pretty full on the inside anyway that's fine i can live with that now here we have now our new favorites which are our butternut uh butternut squash which of course we'll use to make soup and they cost us 40 shillings per kilo pretty fair okay and let us not be judgmental about people's nails look at these guys See, now I decided to be that person who does gel nails. Look at this. Guys, these gel nails are less than a week old. I'm talking three days. I want my money back. And then the person who did it, after I sent her the photos, she's like, it's because your nails are short. What? How now? Brown cow. Anyway, she's coming to do them again. Hopefully, they'll, they'll be better. But now, yeah, so do not judge. This is a judgment-free zone. We don't judge people based on how their nails look. Amen? Amen. Okay, here we have tomatoes. The tomatoes were okay. They were going for 70 shillings per kilo. And she was not even joking. Like, she wasn't even saying, that, yeah, I'm just kidding. No, that was it. Take it or leave it. So, 70 shillings per kilo. I bought four because... Yeah, batch cooking and all that. I bought very few yellow peppers and red peppers. Do you see that? Yellow peppers and red peppers. Because I just want to make a small salad. They were going for 50 shillings a piece. And then, let me tell you guys another thing. Another reason why I have beef with this market. Today is a day for beef, you guys. The thing is, those people rarely measure things per kg unless you insist. And I find when you buy things per kilogram, it is always cheaper. So it was, uh, you know, a push and shove until they agreed. So, but these ones they refused. So I bought one piece for 50 shillings. Hmm, a hoax. And then let me tell you, they didn't even know how much the things go for per kilo. As in, I had to tell them, okay, you need to give me a price per kilo. So clearly most people just buy the uh, piece by piece. It's not cheaper that way, you guys. If you go to the market, buy package. It's always cheaper. Anyway, the garlic was going for... The garlic was going for... Uh, 200 shillings per kg. Now, let me tell you. If you go to the market and you buy one piece... By the I'm not the one who cut them. You see the way they are. This is how they were selling one piece. Okay? So, you buy one piece of garlic. Maybe at... Let's say this. They'll tell you 20 bob. But it's not a whole bulb. So you see, you'll be shortchanged anyway. So it is always better to buy per kg because it doesn't matter whether all the cloves... What are these things called? The cloves of garlic. Yeah, whether all the cloves are there or not. But if you buy a piece, you're getting a half a garlic, whatever. Three cloves missing. So buy per kg if you can. And then here I got bananas. I got these almost fully ripe ones and these almost fully green ones so that they can last us about a week and a half because what i notice is when i buy all of them looking like this they all ripen too fast these ones in totality were going for 230 shillings which was a very 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 good price happy with those bananas then we got some cucumbers these cucumbers were going for 70 shillings per kg. They were not the best, you guys. These are not fresh from the market, from the farm like yesterday. 
these are from the farm like last week i'm not a fan not a fan let's come to the mangoes now mangoes here okay yeah you know we're closer to machaco so these ones are, are most likely fresh from the farm they were going for 15 shillings i was very happy with that price i bought most of them green but just a few yellow ones for eating today and tomorrow for salads and all that jazz melon humongous melon we bought for 40 shillings per kg a bit expensive at my kitty's 33 35 at most 38 but we bought this for seven seven this seven kilos so they are about yeah then my dania forest is there the dania today were ridiculously expensive because the guy was selling that's time let me show you let me show you let me see can i reach it's a, they're always so out of reach Look at this. And I literally found the guy dividing. The, the Daniels had already been divided. Where is my camera focusing? Come on, you can do this. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, assume you're seeing. So now, this, I found the guy dividing. Why are we not focusing? I found the guy dividing them into smaller bunches. This is half of the bunch as it had come, okay? so he divided each bunch into two and then sold three of these for 10 shillings these are literally two two banana two two bananas <laughs> two danias <sighs> fine we will eat back there are leeks the saddest looking leeks i have seen in a while and the guy was selling to me a kilo at he started at 200 shillings. I told him, my friend, this is not my first day at the rodeo. I know these things go for 100 shillings per kilo. Because, of course, he was wanted to sell to me one, one leak at 20 shillings. I was like, excuse me? So now, we were like back and forth. Thing. And then, uh, he sold to me a kilo eventually. When he realized, oh, this chick knows what's up. So he sold to me one kilo at 120 shillings. And they are sad. These leaks are sad. You guys, they are crying. They were depressed. They are the saddest leeks you have ever seen. One thing I'm going to plant in my garden in the next season will be leeks because I cannot live like this. This is not good. So basically, yeah, those are my sad leeks. Then over here, we got lemons. The lemons are going for 130 shillings per kilo. And here we have half a kilo, so I paid 65 shillings right here next to the tomatoes we have another moment of silence because these courgettes uh they were being sold for what i'm looking at my list <laughs> they were being sold for a sad amount trust me a kilo at 120 imagine and you guys if you've watched my other bulk well, well what is this called bulk no grocery haul videos you know these things go for 60 shillings between 50 and 80 shillings at my kid 120 by then i almost didn't buy them but then i was like okay i'm not going to starve my children because i'm trying to uh, prove a point so i bought a kilo painfully oh oh definitely he was selling one at what is it one at 20 shillings ah let's not even go there I'm very happy about these sweet potatoes because they were going for the price was fantastic. It was going for 50 shillings per kg. It's always almost there. He started at 55, but then me, I know my, my rights. <laughs> so I bought at 50. And then they were a bit they look sad to me. They do. Everything on this table is just sad and crying, tears all over. Anyway, yes, 200 shillings because I bought four kilos. Thereabouts, yes. Then domas were not so bad because domas are arrow roots for those who are in the diaspora. So uh, this is what 100 shillings per kilo, and I bought three kilos. Not bad. The the tricky thing with domas, let me tell you guys, is that you never know until you cook it whether it is a good one or a bad one. It's like the lottery. The way you buy a charity sweepstakes, you never know whether you have won or you have lost. So yeah, it's always a tricky situation. The pineapples. You remember the two-headed pineapple? Was it four-headed pineapple you got last time? Well, hmm, this time you got baby pineapples. The tiniest, 
saddest pineapples you ever did. They're so tiny. And so this was because they're so tiny, they were being sold at three pieces for a hundred shillings. So we bought six. Sad. Okay. We'll eat them. I'm sure they're juicy. I hope they're juicy. Then, oh, there's someone there. <laughs> then we have these carrots. The carrots uh, were going for what? All your horses. The carrots were going, were going for 60 shillings per kg. Not bad. I bought like six, which was okay. Uh, the onions. Imagine at 100 shillings. Last time we bought them for what? Was it 80 or 60 or what? Anyway, they, we had, they had to buy them. So we bought them at, uh, at that amount. Two kgs right there. And then the ginger was going for 200 shillings. The funniest thing is they were selling the ginger the same price as the garlic. That I've never seen. Ginger is usually, usually half the price of garlic so usually garlic would be like a kg at two uh, four hundred and then ginger would be a kg at 200 but today they're all going for the same price i don't know what's up with that so we bought i uh, bought a kilo of ginger because i have great use for it the peas were uh, were the highlight of the day because the peas were going for a good price the price was so good that i forgot what it is <laughs> today we're going for 80 shillings per kilo and i bought uh, about four kilos yes and my kitty i used to buy them at 100 so that's a good price yes and yeah that's okay that's good then here we have potatoes these potatoes were going for 500 shillings a smaller bucket than the one at my kitty and mm, 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 mm. it's okay i guess we'll make the most of it so that is it i have not yet gone to the supermarket to buy the rest of the stuff because i ran out of time and i needed to come home because homeschooling needed to go on and all that jazz but before i gave, came home I, I asked around and found a cereal shop because we needed to buy some cereals pulses lentils call them what you will and the prices were almost the same as at Nyamakima, so I was very happy about that because these are bazis. Yes, these bazis huh, were going for what 100 shillings per kg, which was okay. The yellow beans, which are green, uh, were going for i'm guessing at this point because i lost that paper i think they were going for 120 per kilo yes and we had the black butter beans you remember when you did that video to nyamakim i said there are so many types of butter beans these ones are black and i was like why not try them this time they were going for 200 shillings which was very fair because at nyamakim it was around about the same price so these are the beans that will be batch cooking tomorrow so by guy by the time buddy, by the time <laughs> by the way guys tomorrow i'll be batch cooking so yeah look out for that video coming up very soon and then i went and bought me these things now i of course you guys know i have been in dire need of sophorias because that's what's up but i wanted a bigger one but i did find but i bought this cover you remember this is sophoria of mine that i've been a sophoria is a pot <laughs> for those who are not Kenyan now there is this cooking pot of mine that i've been covering with a cooking stick and then i put half a cover so those days are over so yeah i went and bought myself this as you can see the price is written clearly and uh, and visibly for 500 shillings imagine 500 shillings just a cover so how much were the sufurias you may ask well let me tell you this one is another cover going for 240 shillings this is the cover for the cooking pot that I bought, which is right here. Looky here, looky here. It is tiny. I wanted a slightly bigger one, but it is smaller than I wanted, but it is bigger than what I have. So this beggar decided to not be a, a chooser. So I bought this. It's okay. It's still going to come in handy when we are about cooking, but I owe myself a trip to Nina, to Nyamakema, to where? To 
tukamukunje to see if I can get a slightly bigger one. At least two of them. Oh, hey, hey, you guys, I haven't told you. Okay, fine. Let me first put this away. What I went and bought from Jumia is a pressure cooker. Oh, yeah. Let's have a moment of silence for thanking God for my new pressure cooker, which is not here. But I'll show you guys when I get it and when it gets here. So I am super duper, super duper extra excited uh, for my new pressure cooker. I'm going to put it right here for you to see. If you're interested, please buy it on Jumia. I have a Jumia code. Please, please use my Jumia code, guys. Validate my Jumia partnership so that I can feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. And I really thank you for that. So if you use the code, the link that I, I will share below, you can buy it yes through my link thank you so now i'm really looking forward to boiling this my things in my new pressure cooker and this one and this one guys say oh you know when you have a pressure cooker all those things that you buy for hours it's gonna take you two minutes and they'll be done so yeah let's wait and see whether those guys have been lying to my face or whether they've been telling me the truth okay they didn't exactly say two minutes but yes you guys know what i mean oh yeah this is my shopping list so now that's for soap that is our our grocery haul for this month really looking forward to making some yummy things tomorrow oh my gosh i didn't tell you oh my goodness so we didn't go to the slaughterhouse because the meat we bought from the slaughterhouse last month we bought nine kilos divided it into two and so the two kilos um <laughs> nine divided by two is two guys <laughs> so the 4.5 kilos are in our freezer waiting to be batch cooked this month all right what we need to get tomorrow morning because we are ambitious like that is chicken from city market and also pork hey <laughs> You guys, I have a deal with pork, which I will tell you tomorrow. Let me not bore you with all these details. But I have not cooked pork for the last uh, 10 years since I got married, basically. But that is changing. So that will be one of the meals we'll be batch cooking. So look out for that. So yeah, there we have it, guys. Uh, that is our grocery haul for this month of March. And stay tuned for how we are going to cook this amazing food. We batch cook in case you're new here. We do all our cooking once a month. Then we divide the food and then throw it in the freezer so that for the rest of the month we are not cooking. Oh my gosh, I forgot this. The MVP of it all. You guys, I bought two avocados. One was going for 20 shillings and one was going for 30 shillings. I don't know why, but yes, that's a treat. So yeah, that's it, guys. Let me show you <laughs> my garden and the nice stage that it is in. So now it is a few days later and I want to show you the atrocity, well, not really the atrocity, but just the progress that is my garden. Our garden has progressed well. We have eaten a bit of the stuff, but today I want to show you what is there, what is mature, maybe do a bit of harvesting and then, yeah, fun. So basically this is the, this is the run through of the garden um yeah we will talk about that because omg <laughs> yeah but that's basically how it looks now and uh, let me show you from the um, from the end so um hmm. there is this tomato it hasn't done so well but we need to harvest some of this boot this bit not boots <laughs> and then the kills we have enjoyed we have enjoyed some of them and then here we also have uh we have what do we have a lot of weeds yes i'm sure you can see that you guys have eyes but there's a tomato here that was doing well but uh, we forgot to to prune it can you see i don't know if you'll get anything but the rest of it is looking oh my goodness come along let me show you guys let's look looky here looky here at this great big tomato and then guys i'm feeling dizzy because i feel like i might find a chameleon or something <laughs> i don't know where that thought came from but we have a good number of tomatoes that one is literally on the ground can you see it it's not so good huh. now let's talk about all this junk that 
Her lovely help has lately been deciding she should dump everything here. Which, <laughs> the concept is not bad. But look, Ebu, look. The concept is not bad because, yes, food scraps make great manure. But what we need to do is we need to dig a compost pit. Okay? Not just throw everything in the garden. Also, the other thing is... We shouldn't throw food remains, just just vegetable scraps. So yeah, that one needs to be fixed. And then also, since we threw um, pumpkin seeds, I can see baby pumpkins sprouting here. Mm -hmm. The spinach are not doing badly. We have eaten them, you guys. We have eaten them quite a number of times. We have tomatoes and they have been eaten by God knows what. Guys, I'm a poor farmer, but I'm learning. <laughs> yes, I'm learning. Now, here is something that I really want to work on today, is I want to harvest all these warus because, yes, you can see, the potato vines are dry. They are called vines, are they not? So I'm really hoping that there's some substantial potatoes down there. And the beets also need harvesting. The tomatoes, oh my gosh, who am I? I am a farmer. Look at that. Guys, look at that. Oh my gosh. And look at this. And this red pepper too. And more tomatoes. Where are they? I'll show you just now. Hold that thought. Let me take a, fi a fixture. <laughs> Let me take a fixture for, for the thumbnail. Okay, now that I've finished taking the pictures, let me show you the rest. Oi, 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 I'm falling. <clears throat> the mistake that we did was to not... Okay, we tied the tomatoes, but I think uh, as they grew, they became too heavy and the strings snapped. And then we were supposed to put up some... Tr some what do you call them? Poles to support them, but we did not. So the next time we grow tomatoes, here's another one. Ah, I am going to be more intentional. All right. So the tomatoes are doing very, very well, guys. They are doing very, very well, despite the fact that we did not even plant them, you guys. Look at this one. Let me see. Where is it? Can you see? You know, the Bible says you will have a where you did not plant. <laughs> I tell you, we did not even plant these tomatoes, but hey yo. But hey yo, look at these others. Oh, gorgeous. So now, maybe I'll do some harvesting and then see if I can get some poles to support the remaining ones. Uh, the carrots are gone as me. I don't even know what if I'll get anything from these carrots, but I remember we were told the mistake we made was that we. Let them grow too close to each other. So yeah. So more tomatoes. Imagine you guys. The main thing we're going to harvest from this garden this season will be tomatoes. Despite the fact that tomatoes are the one thing we did not plant. Oh, and did I say that we already ate some green peppers? And they were yummy. And I didn't take a video. So let me start the harvesting. Okay, so before I even go to get whatever it is that I need for harvesting, I need to cut a few spinach, whatever, few spinach leaves for making me a smoothie. Mom? Yes, darling. I found a snail. Oh, did you step on it? No. Oh, thank God. Who likes stepping on snails? Nobody likes stepping on snails, darling. Nobody. Mm -hmm. Mom, mm -hmm. are you going to make a spinach smoothie? Oh, yeah. Yummy.
Okay, guys, no laughing. <laughs> See my bountiful harvest. I said no laughing. Okay, this is me. This is, I'm a serious farmer. Yes. So, as you can see, um, the harvest was very dismal. Yes. But I am not discouraged because to me this is proof of concept. Okay? This shows I can grow something. Yes. So now, because the rainy season is upon us and I need to get now serious for the next season, this one was a trisex, you know, experiment. Now the next one is the real deal, man. So uh, I need to find an agronomist. If you're an agronomist, say I and DM me. Let me know what's supposed to go on here because I want to plant serious things. Now, the funniest thing is that the one thing that we are going to harvest most in this garden is the one thing we did not plant, <laughs> which is tomatoes. These tomatoes came out of nowhere. It's a bit windy, but yeah. I mean, and we've already eaten a good number of them, by the way. Uh, so windy. But anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, say a prayer for my garden and for me. Let me know what you think I should plant in the next season in the comment section. And let me know today because I need to get this garden rolling, you guys. Yes. Bye.